Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Fajika, a place for budding and aspiring entrepreneurs. Guys, I want to welcome you to another week here at the channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I definitely want to welcome you. As a reminder, do not forget I got two very important things coming up. We are starting our next home care licensing course on Saturday, March 4th. The link will be below for you to sign up. Secondly, I am hosting a masterclass the, a live masterclass the last Saturday of the month. In that masterclass, I'll be talking to you about how do you actually stand up and operate your home care agency. So I'm excited for both classes, guys. I hope you are as well as me. So make sure that you sign up. And again, all links will be provided in the description. A few so months I ago, I did a video and it was called, Should I Start a Non-Medical Home Care Agency? And it looks like you guys really responded to that video. So today, I want to look at that from a different way and say why you should start your non-medical home care agency. So guys, if that's something that you're interested in, I hope you are, then stay tuned. The first tip that I have for you guys is starting a non-medical home care agency is an opportunity to serve. And guys, you know, um, you guys know the golden rule, kind of treat everybody how you would want to be treated. When you think of a lot of the people that require our services, they lived busy lives. They were working, taking care of their families, and now they're at a point in their lives where they just need a little bit of help. You know, they want to be at home. They just need a little help with their activities of daily living. And so in that way, although they are paying for that service, we are serving them. We are there to help them do that. And for a lot of them, that's a big deal. We have a lot of population who either can't afford to or they don't want to go into community centers. They don't want to go to assistant living centers. They don't want to go to senior living. And so this is an opportunity for them to be at home and be comfortable and receive the help that they want. In addition to that, seniors are my favorite people because they are so wise. They want to give you advice. They want to still have fun in their lives. And you have the option as that home care agency owner to really make a difference in that person's lives. Some of our clients really don't have a lot of family. Um, they don't have people that live close to them. And so we are their extracurricular activity. And so if you can find pride in that, if that's something that you're really passionate about, you're a people person and you're passionate about people, then you could really let that aspect of yourself shine in your own non-medical home care agency. The second reason I have for you today is because it can lead to other business opportunities. Now, I will use myself as an example. When I first got my home care license, yes, I always knew that I wanted to reach back out and help people. I never knew that I would end up consulting. That wasn't something that was on the table at that time. Um, but when I throw it back to you, there are so many other things that you can do. Um, I have a lot of people that I'm talking to that want to start off with their non-medical home care agencies, knowing that they will most likely grow into a medical home care agency. So again, that's a second phase or could be a potentially second phase of your business. And so when I think of that, you know, you can have home care registries, you know, there are different things, different aspects of the business and home care where you could really make a difference and where you could really branch out and build different phases of your business. It's really exciting to see what you can do in terms of starting your first business, running it, having it be successful, and then realize what can you expand out to? What other business ventures are out there for you? The third and final tip that I have for you guys or the third and final reason that I have for you guys is, guys, it's financially rewarding. You know, when I've talked about passion, when I've, th when I've talked about, you know, this is really something that you can do to make a difference in your community and the people that are in your community, at the end of the day, it is a business. And so you want that business to be fruitful. You want that business to be successful. And so even though that's not the top reason, as you guys can see, I did not start off with that as a reason. I truly do believe that if you're doing something that you love with good intention, then the money will follow. And so it's really up to you, though, because, you know, I talked to a lot of you who are like, hey, I've done all that I can. I'm hitting those streets. I'm beating that streets. I don't have a client. 
And I get it. That could be very demotivating. That could be very, uh-oh, did I make the right decision? But I'm here to tell you, you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. It will come. It will come. You just have to keep moving forward. But I love when I talk to those same people a few months down the road and they're excited about how many clients they have and how they've grown and now they can't, you know, they don't have enough home health aides now to take care of all the clients that they have. So that's the other side of the coin, right? That we're all trying to get to. So, but it is a possibility for all of us. Along with it being financially rewarding, I know something that is really beneficial for me um, you know, really working for myself is your schedule is a little bit more flexible. And so we want to make sure that however we are taking care of ourselves, whatever business that we have, we really have time to do what's important out of life, right? Which is take care of our children, be home with our children, and really be present when we're there with them, you know, not being stressful from a job or stressful from the day or, you know, still taking that work home with us. We really want to make sure that we have a, an actual start and end time, even if we're working for ourselves. And listen, I understand that that's not always realistic. Sometimes if it's not you, then who, right? And I totally get that as well. If you're able to do so, you could prioritize your family and then schedule in the work. But we should never be sacrificing our relationship in time with our family just for anything that we're doing. The fourth and final tip, I'm gonna throw a bonus tip for you guys, is um, when our, for those of us who have young children, this is something that I'm really starting to see. When your children see you creating businesses, standing up businesses, you know, um, really running your life off of the business that, that you have created, that really plants the seed in your children for them to know that they too can do whatever whatever it is that they want to do and so that's something you can't put a price tag on that's really not something you can teach right it's really your kids learning by experience the experience of watching mom and dad running their business the experience of mom and dad being home more right the experience of when I need mom and dad, they're there. So I wanted to add that in as a bonus tip. I really actually started this video with only the three tips, but I think that's a huge bonus that I'm seeing in my children and I'm hearing from you as I'm talking to you um, that are also raising their families and trying to have their businesses at the same time. So guys, as usual, I really hope this is a video that you enjoyed. Guys, you definitely, should you start your non-medical home care agency, absolutely do not delay. I think I did a video, just a couple of videos before saying, hey, the time is now. Don't delay. You don't want it to be another year, 2024, and you still have not started your non-medical home care agency. It's nagging at you because you need to do it, okay? So if you haven't already like this video do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified each and every time i drop a new video okay guys that's all i have for you today stay blessed